Hey there, sports fans and car enthusiasts. Welcome to the channel. Merry Christmas to all of you. And of course, Merry Christmas to me because it is time. It is tuxedo time. That's right. We have a 26 card SGC reveal. My second submission. Uh, we're going to have fun getting into this today. I got my right hand man, my brother from another mother, Justin Dickerson here today. Justin, say hello. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, indeed. We are going to go through these card submissions here today and see how we did. As a reminder, in our last video we did on this, that's upside down, but that's okay, we did our expected and hopeful grades here. Like I said, 26 cards. How do we do? We're going to find out right now. All right, folks, so while we're getting into this, I'm going to unbox this here, and uh, we're going to do something a little bit different than we did in our last card reveal video. We are going to also give you the comp values as they are as of today, or we're filming this a little bit before Christmas, So, but right before Christmas, the comp values. Justin, why don't you tell us a little bit about the process we're going to do here today and how we're going to look that up and give those to you while I unbox these, use the neat knife, and cut through that and get these going here Justin, tell us about the process, sir. Sure thing. We're going to use the Vintage Card Price Guide, the VCP webpage, to find out the, the value of the graded cards. Uh, VCP takes the recent comps from eBay and other auction houses and kind of averages them out for a, a value that it, you can't... It isn't the end-all be-all, but uh, you can certainly rely on it's a lot faster than looking up eBay comps and all that. So it's a big time saver. I would recommend it. Uh, subscription based, but yeah, it, it, it'll save you a lot of time looking up prices of cards, uh, graded cards, and and uh, yeah, we're gonna reference that today. And again, highly recommend it. VCP the Vintage Card Price Guide web web page. So Justin has all the cards that we've submitted pulled up and the ranges available to us. So we're gonna go through right now unboxing tuxedo time i'm excited i'm also nervous like i was last time my neat knife is struggling a little bit to get through the uh tuxedo time box let me turn that around and go this way you might need to use the vcp or the uh vintage vintage uh blast from the past scissors that's true all right there's all the cards there i want to do these in a way we can't see the grades so i'll try and make sure that is going the right direction first and it is not so we'll go this way hopefully this is all in the back pull these out nice and nice and packed in there good they're all in the back all right so pull these cards out and i will put them in order as best i can so justin last time we uh we did really well here um we only had one card that was below what we expected and all the rest were on point or right up there so we'll see we'll stick these set this stack aside here we know we're starting with the 1989 upper deck ken griffey jr so we guessed um i think justin you guessed this was going to be a six well we hoped for maybe a seven let's see how we did here that's right i gotta put my little thing on this side oh oh now you, i didn't realize <laughs> that was well we got a little bit of preview for that one uh we got the 1989 Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card, and it did, it got a six, so not too shabby. Justin, what's a comp on a six? A six value is right around thirty six dollars and forty three cents for an SGC six. No, oh, not too shabby, but uh, it's hoping for a little bit higher than that. But you know, the six was right in the wheelhouse of what we expected. So um, let me turn these around here and uh, make sure we don't see. Rest of that, okay. It's a good looking six. That was a good looking six. Next, we're going to move into the 1983 Topps Traded Daryl Strawberry Rookie Card. One of my favorites. Had this in my collection for quite some time. Um, I thought this was going to be a seven. Justin, you thought this could get an eight. Uh, let's see. And it got. There's the front. It got an eight. You're right. Fantastic. Great grade. Eights are right over $30 on it for an SGC8, although I think the prices look to be trending up for those. That's good. All right. So we'll mark 
that as an eight. So we're on track so far. We're going to move into Ozzie Smith territory. Ozzie Smith rookie card, 1979 tops. There's the back. Let's see if I can get this in a way. Do the front, hide the front there. There's the front. Nice clean looking card. So I suspected this could get as high as a 7.5. Justin, you said 6.5 to be safe. What do you think? Uh, I gotta, gotta stick with my gut. All right, 6.5, Justin says. And it is, ooh, ooh, a five. Wow, oh, they're they, hard on the centering, it sounds like. It, it looks like, I mean, I can't see anything else wrong with that other than the centering. But wow, I have a, I have one of these in an eight grade, kind of a miscut, and the centering is actually worse on that. So first shocker there, uh, that only got a five. Yeah. So what are the comps on that, sir? Grading is very subjective. Fives are going for $40. Yeah, not, not, not what I wanted to hear, but uh, well, let's see. Well, you guys already kind of saw the sneak peek on this one, but I'll just share this one with you. 1978 Tops Eddie Murray rookie card. Uh, I expected a 5.5. Justin, you thought 6.5. It did It did indeed come back a 5.5. I was right on this one. So obviously a little ding corner there. Some uh, <clears throat> print marks at the factory there obviously impacted this a little bit. Still not bad. Um, I'm super happy to have this one slabbed up. But 5.5. Uh, Justin, what are we looking at there? Comps are right around thirty dollars for a five and a half uh, in an SGC slab. Okay, another That's good looking five and a half. Not too terrible. All right, now I got to do a little uh, organization here. So I think we're out of order. We are certainly out of whack here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I've got to search a little bit here because yep, these these were not put in the order that I was hoping for. So, where is that? This is this is what we're looking for. All right, I'm gonna bump the camera there. Sorry, folks. We are looking at a 1977 Topps Dale Murphy rookie card. There it is, right there. Justin, you thought a six. Uh, we were hoping for a seven. I don't think I had a, any uh, any dog in this fight as to what I thought I was gonna get, but I, I was gonna go with you on a six, and it got indeed a six. So, nice card. not too bad. So, right where Justin thought it was going to go as a six. What are we looking there for that, sir? Sixes are right between $25 and $30. Mm, kind of low costs on these. Yeah. Bargain for Dale Murphy. Right yeah, it certainly seems like it. So, not any super high value here that we're getting into just yet. But, uh, you know, like I said, I'm happy to get these cards slabbed for sure. Uh, we're moving on to... Looks like the, that's the one we're looking for. We're looking for the Gary Carter rookie card, which is right here. And on this one, I thought this was going to be a four. We're hoping for a five on this. There is the card itself right there. And it does look like it got a five. So not too bad. Nice, nice five on that. So we kind of beat the expectation by a grade there. That was a five look on a Gary Carter. Yeah, great to see that coming in on the high. Uh, those are going for twenty dollars and an SGC five. That's it. Wow, twenty bucks. All right. Well, still. All right. Moving on to another nineteen seventy five rookie card. Another Hall of Famer, Jim Rice. I thought, and actually, Justin, you thought three point five. We thought maybe four on this. And there's the card right there. What did it get? It got a five. Wow. Nice. Same as the Carter. I did not expect that. So that's a full grade, actually a grade and a half higher than what the expected was on that. So not too shabby there. I'll take it. What's a five on Mr. Rice? Similar to the Carter, right around $20 for a five. Not too bad. All right. Moving into another card that uh, I graded last time. Um, this is obviously not the same card, but it's a different version of a different card. 1974 Topps Dave Winfield rookie card. Uh, on this, I thought, actually, no, Justin, you thought it was going to get a four. We were hoping for a 4.5. I mean, I'm feeling four on that one, but let's see. It is four. It is a four. That upper right hand corner has a nice big ding in it. So um, that was about expected. So I think that's, that's, that's perfectly fine. So four for that. What are we looking? 
It's a good looking Winfield rookie. Uh, not much difference between a four and a four and a half, honestly, right? Both are between 20 and 25 bucks in an SGC slab. Okay, that's not terrible. Another 1974 tops. This is a Dave Parker rookie card. There it is right there. Um, I picked this one up for super cheap. I think I got this for $10. Uh, Justin, you thought 4.5. We were hoping for 5 on this. Let's see what we got. We got a 4. Hmm. A little bit of a ding on that one. So a little under what we expected. I must have seen some surface wear. You can see a little corner ding on there. But that's, that does look like it's sharper than a 4. But, you know, who knows? Yeah, that's a beautiful 4. And, and it, there's not a big, huge uh, difference in value until you start getting up into the... The eight nine range for these cards. So this one's right around twenty bucks as well. Yeah. Okay. No, not 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 terrible. But we're not we're not ringing any bells here yet. Um, let's see. Now I've lost track here again. We're looking at the Goose Gossage rookie card, and I think that might have fallen. There he is, all the way at the bottom there. So nineteen seventy three tops Goose Gossage rookie card. This is one I pulled out of a pack, uh, actually one of those holiday packs that I opened. Uh, you know, book value, this goes for about 30 so 30, 30 to $50 or so. But uh, let's see what it grades in a SGC. And we were hoping on this one for a 5. I said 5. Justin, you thought it was going to be a 6. Let's see. It got a 5. I was right on that one, so it did indeed get a 5. Well done, yeah. You're, you're right around twenty dollar value for that guy too, and yeah, your great guessing is on point. Is there a reason the uh, the card values are so low right now? Is it just so many of these cards in the market? You yeah, think? I think uh, I think in the seventies, yeah, there's a, a lot of them circulating, and a lot of them are in pretty decent shape. So a lot of collectors have them in 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 this kind of shape, and so really the only thing that differentiates them is being in immaculate shape, and, and yeah. it's hard to find an eight and a nine, which is hard for sure. Nineteen seventy one top Steve Garvey rookie card. Uh, I thought this was going to be a four. We were hoping for a four point five, and it came back a four point five. So. Not too shabby. Those 71s, the, the, the borders, all those dings on that because of the black borders really take you. But SUC at least notes that, which is nice. So not too bad. 4.5, we hit our hopeful on that. Yeah, great card. Uh, looks amazing. And uh, yeah, just over $30 on uh, the VCP website for an SGC 4.5 Garvey. All right, not too bad. Now we're getting into some older cards here. We're going to go... With a 1969 Bobby Cox rookie card. Love this card. Uh, this is a little off-center for sure. It's a sharp-looking card. I was thinking this could get uh, in the wheelhouse of a 6.5. Justin, you thought maybe 7 on this. Uh, it got a 6. So, again, not terrible, but a little bit under what we were hoping for. So, Bobby Cox in a 6. SGC 6. What are we looking at, sir? Uh, there's not a lot of sales data, but looking at PSA 6s are $60, so I guess it's around the $50 range. It's a great looking card. That is a 6, so is that in the 50? That should be around the 50. So. Yeah, I think so. All right. Now we're moving into a high value card here. Uh, i got to find it, though. And it's in here somewhere, probably in the bottom of this stack, I'm like guessing. Nope, not that one. All right, here it is. 1968. Eight, Johnny Bench. Look at that card. One of my favorites. Um, I thought this was going to get a three. Justin, you thought four. Uh, it's a really nice looking card, but it does have a little crease on there. What do you think? And it got a 3.5. Not bad. Right in the middle. So I'm happy about that. Awesome 3.5 on there. That's pretty cool. Great looking 3.5. Those go for about 104 Forty dollars in an SGC three and a half. Yeah, I've seen those a lot higher on eBay for you know threes and three point five. So yeah, we'll see. All right, moving on to another Hall of Famer in Steve Carlton. Where are you, Mister Steve? I know you're hiding in here somewhere. There he is. All right, I'll hide that and let's flip that over. Mister Fritz Ackley, right there. Just kidding. Steve Carlton, uh, I think we were hopeful on this, but also cautious. 
I thought three. Justin, you were convinced this was going to be a four. Um, let's see how we did. We got a three. I was right on that one. Yeah, not as eh, not as high as I was hoping for, but it was right in the expected range. So a three for that. What are we looking at? Great card. Threes are going for a hundred and a hundred bucks for an SGC three. Fritz doing his best Wally Moon impression. I know, right? Gotta <laughs> gotta love that uh, unibrow. Yes, sir. All right. Next up, we are looking at where did we go? Was it this stack here? My stacks are starting to dwindle down. There it is. This is a card I've had in my collection forever. It was my very first mantle card. So I've had this since I was 11 years old. There is the 1962 Tops Manager's Dream card, Mickey Mantle and Willie Mays. Now, because I've had this in my collection forever, you know, it's been in and out of, you know, penny sleeves and top loaders. I thought this was going to get 3.5. Justin, you were for sure 4.5 on this. And it got... Oh, a 4.5. You're right. Wow. I'm happy to have that slab in a 4.5. That makes me very happy. That's an incredible card. It's super underrated. Great story, too. And, uh, yeah, it just goes to show how you take care of your cards. Well done. You've had that for so long. Got a 4.5 still. Values around $140 for that card in an SGC All right. slab. Not too, not too shabby there. All right. We're moving on. We only got a handful of cards left here. But, of course, they're still out of order and still confounding me a little bit as I'm searching through. There it is. 1961 Tops Billy Williams rookie card. Love that card. That's in, I mean, aside from the centering, that card's in great shape. I mm -hmm. uh, did think they were going to ding us a little bit on the surface here, but uh, I thought 5.5. Justin, you thought it was high. 6.5 on this. Let's see. This is a 5. We got dinged a little bit more than we wanted to. So, straight five on the Billy Williams. Not terrible, but uh, I was hoping for more. Yeah, I agree. I think uh, a little undergraded there. Fives, again, not a huge jump in value between fours, five, sixes. Uh, fives go for right around 50 bucks. All right. Could have done worse. Could have done a lot better. But uh, I'm not, not going to let it, not going to let it get me down. We're moving into some older vintage here. Going back to 1960, this is another key card for me. 1960 Tops Carl Ustremski rookie card. Big ding corner, a lot of print stuff on here. I was not expecting high hopes on this one, but this one I wanted to get slabbed up. I thought this is actually, Justin, you thought this was going to be a 2.5. I think 3.5 is what we hoped for on it, and it got a 4. Wow, great. Whoa, why is that a 4? And some of the other cards are... Wow, that corner, I thought for sure was going to get lower to at least a three. But, you know, wow. Okay, I will take that. I think you were rewarded for the centering. It's a it's a tough card to find center. It really is. The yeah. print defects are common, so maybe not as big a ding on those. Uh, fours go for over $160, and that is an immaculate looking four. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, indeed. Sorry, folks, I bumped my camera there, but we'll put a four on Mr. Yastrzemski. Moving on to Vada Pinson. This is one we had our doubts on. Condition on this was a little janky. Uh, we'll see. It's very off-center. I thought this could get a three. Justin, you thought 4.5. And it got a two. Yeesh. Two. What, what's on the back? Don't know why this got a two. Yeah. I'm struggling <laughs> to understand why that got a two. I don't see any noticeable creases. The corners, while not like they're they're not perfectly sharp, they're not like fuzzy or round. Oh, I think this was the one we had the question about whether somebody had written on something over this. There's a little bit of an indention there. Oh, that's probably that. why you're probably right and and typically those get a one so this one presented so nicely they bumped it up to a two. Oh, that's but, disappointing but i'll take it in a two yeah really that's the only explanation and again not a huge jump in value for this card in between you know anything under a five you're looking at 40 bucks so a two is two, 20 bucks yeesh big hit on that one not 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 great 
Well, let's hope this can make up for it. This is a uh, Don Drysdale rookie card. This is one I'm worried about the, uh, the, the surface a little bit because of the color. Um, but I've had this for a while. It's a little off-center, too. I was hoping this could get, uh, well, actually, just in youth, I thought this could get a 4. We are hoping for a 4.5, and it got a 4.5, so I'm happy about that. That's really cool. I will take that in a 4.5, for sure. All right. That's beautiful. Yeah, great. Underrated rookie card, in my opinion. Uh, fives are $146, and fours are 100 so right in between those two, would I'd say around 125 Okay, not not terrible, but again, a lot of these are going to be for my PC, so I'm not really looking at reselling them uh, right away. So we're moving on. This is the Hank Aaron 1956 tops. This is the white back version here. So I'll pull it off camera and twist this around. So hopefully you don't see that. Um, on this one, uh, Justin, you thought three, we hoped for four, and this came back a 4.5. Wow, that is. Astounding. Big card. That's a nice that's a nice win on that one. Very yeah. surprising. I thought with the surface, corners, other stuff on that, but apparently that's a nice card. I guess the centering helped us on that one too. So very cool card to have. White back four point five. And uh what are we looking at there, sir? Yeah, that's a huge card. A couple years after his rookie year only. Uh three hundred and over $320 for an SGC 4.5. That's not bad. Not bad at all. All right, here's another 1956. This one we didn't have high hopes for. This is uh, Jackie Robinson, 1956 Jackie Robinson. I expected a 2. I'll hide that. There we go. I expected a 2, largely because it's got creases. One, two, three creases right there and really fuzzy corners. Uh, Justin, you thought uh, 2.5 on this so let's see how we did actually it's four creases i can see there in a fuzzy corner justin you're hopeful and it's got a two it got what i expected i'm actually kind of surprised it got a two and not a 1.5 but i i'll take that any of the week uh yeah that's a huge card even no matter what shape it is a two is worth 327 dollars sgc not bad not bad at all all right, moving on. I just acquired a new one of these. You guys saw it in another video. This is the one that I had previously, and it's in terrible shape, quite frankly. Now, last video, we lucked out with an Ernie Banks rookie card that had tape residue up here, but it was immaculate in all other ways, and we got a two out of that. <laughs> if this gets over a one, anything over a one, I will be absolutely shocked. Uh, this is going to be a one. I just wanted it... Um, in a slab with a one because this could be something I could use for good trade value uh, or maybe potentially sell it. But uh, we're hoping for, uh, we expected a one. The hopefuls of 1.5, it ain't going to happen. It is a, yep, a one. Exactly what I thought. So what are we looking at there, Justin? What's a Koufax rookie and a one looking like? Sure, standard stuff uh, as far as the grading. Although that presents nicely, I it would expect it would go over comps. Ones right now are in the 350 to 400 range uh, for SGC. And I've seen them on eBay going for as much as four, 450 for ones. Um, in some of them in worse shape than that. So, you know, that's not, not too, too terrible. I'm happy to have that. Speaking of Ernie Banks, we do have an Ernie Banks here. We're going to 1955 Tops Ernie Banks. This is one I picked up, and I think I paid way too much for it. I picked this up for $120 in an eBay auction. Like I said, got it home and uh, realized there was a big old crease on that one. So uh, we thought 2 and 2.5 is the Tops, and it got a 2. Yep, just what I expected. So I think I overpaid for this car, but it's still nice to have it slabbed up. And again, I could use this as potential trade bait. Or something but uh what are we looking at there ernie banks in a two sgc twos yeah going for right around 80 85 dollars that's it huh yikes i got hosed on that one all right let's move back to 1952 tops we got three cards left folks 1952 tops duke snyder love this card picked this one up for a whopping 30 bucks in an ebay auction not that long ago it's got a little indentation up there so i wasn't expecting super high on this we thought two or three. Um, I expect this to get a two, um, but we'll see. Uh, and it is a two. It's like what we thought. 
So, 1952 top is Duke Snyder in a two. Not too shabby. Uh, what are we looking at? Like there. Uh, SGC 2, 52 top Snyder, right around 100 bucks. So, so you did pretty good. I did pretty good on that one. A great investment. Not too shabby indeed. I'm going to save, you know, the oldest for last. I'm going to skip ahead one. Justin, stay with me, sir. Sure. All right, we're going to go to the 1980-81 Topps Basketball, Larry Bird. This is not the Bird uh, not the Bird Johnson. This is the Bird, Bill Cartwright, and John Drew rookie card, but it is still Larry Bird's rookie card here. Um, we expected a 5 and a 6. Justin, you were explaining you had a buddy that sold a bunch of these or had a bunch of these graded, and you know they were in great shape, and uh, they didn't come back with high grades. So they were hard. We're hard a little on. worried on this one. They could be low. Could be much lower than a five. But we'll see. I'm hoping for a five, <clears throat> and it got a five. I'm happy. That makes me happy. So a five and a Larry Bird rookie. I'll take that any day of the week. What are we looking like, sir? On a five, right around fifty dollars for that <laughs> card. Looks great. Okay, not too bad. I picked it up for forty dollars at a. Uh, vintage or uh, uh, antique store, so not too terrible. And lastly, we're going back in time to 1948-49. <clears throat> My only real Honus Wagner card, because, of God, I can't afford anything from his actual playing days, was Honus Wagner, and he was a manager. And again, I love this card because if you know the story of uh, why he didn't have a whole lot of cards or why his cards are rare, because he disagreed with tobacco cards and use of tobacco uh, being shown with kids, yet later in life, here he is in a 1948-49 Leaf Gum Company where he's chewing tobacco. John Honus Wagner, I thought this was going to get a two. Justin, you thought three for sure, and it got a three. Hey, look at that. I'm happy. Great card. <clears throat> That's a cool card. Yeah, how, how your taste change. Honus is obviously a fan. <laughs> uh, SGC3 is... Four hundred dollars for that card. That's, That's not fantastic. bad at all. I will take it. So let me mark down the three for Honus Wagner. So we had some hits and we had some losses here. This you know wasn't wasn't unexpected. Uh, we can't win them all the time, but uh, for the most part, I'd say we were pretty on track. Uh, we were on track with the with the bird. Uh, we were mostly on track with Honus Wagner, with the Snyder, the Banks. Kovacs rookie for sure, the, the Jackie Robinson. The Hank Aaron was a nice surprise at 4.5. The Don Drysdale was a nice surprise at 4.5. Nevada Pinson hurt us at a 2. The uh, Carl Stremski was a nice surprise at a 4. Um, <clears throat> Billy Williams, manager's dream, manager's dream card was a nice surprise. Uh, the Carlton and uh, Bench rookie cards came in about what we expected. The Bobby Cox card was a little bit lower. The Garvey was on track. Gossage was on track. Parker, Winfield on track. Rice and Carter mostly on... Actually, Rice and Carter, the 75 rookies, outpaced us a little bit more of what we expected on those. The Dale Murphy Rick card was on track. The Murray was on track. The Ozzy Smith card surprised us. That was our biggest loss. We thought for sure that was going to be much higher than a five. And the uh, Griffey and Strawberry were on track as well. So there you go, folks. There's our reveal in about a half an hour. So tell us what you liked, uh, what you didn't like. Tell me what your favorite card is out of these that we just pulled. Not pulled, but these that we just got graded. There you go, 26 cards, and we're leaving off with Bench and Carlton there on the top. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, Justin, thank you so much for joining in today and looking up those uh, prices that are kind of in, as we did it live for us. And it's a nice treat for everybody there. And, uh, yeah, any, any last words to add? Yeah, no, my pleasure. Congratulations. Merry Christmas, everybody. I uh, hope you had a wonderful holiday. Indeed. Merry Christmas. So we'll leave us with a uh, double thumbs up here in just a second. But, uh, again, thanks, everybody. Please like this video if you haven't uh, have done so already. If you haven't subscribed, please do so because we're having lots of giveaways coming up for subscribers. And, of course, enjoy your Christmas, enjoy your holidays, and have a great Happy New Year. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.